Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening, and welcome to Strange Love Live Tech Edition. I'm your host, Cami Chaos. As always, we've got Dr. Normal behind the desk, and this evening we're joined by Dane Hesseldahl and Nate Bedortha from Simler. Hi. Hi, Hi guys. So before we get into the whole history of how Simler came to be, I just want you in the simplest terms, pretend I've never seen it before. What is Simler? Uh, well, Simler is sort of uh, a, a different perspective on, on social networking where as opposed to making connections to people that you arbitrarily know, like, you know, we were in the same bowling league or, or whatever. It's about meeting people who like the same things that you like. And, mm -hmm. and so uh, it, we look at it as a social messaging platform um, to really foster discussion, kind of think, um, you know, old school bulletin boards kind of uh, mashed up. As the kids. But pretty. But kids would say yes, <laughs> uh, with like Twitter and, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, geolocation stuff in there. So, uh, you know, it's made to help you meet people who like the same stuff that you like. So the, the likes would be then tags that you would put on a post or something, but in this case, they're the basis for the entire structure. Absolutely. Um, I mean, it's all based around tags. The, mm -hmm. the idea is that uh, a tag is, is something that you identify yourself with, you know. So, you know, I love comic books, so, you know, I have all sorts of comic book tags, and that uh, allows other people who also like comic books, you know, to see that I like comic books, I live in Portland, and therefore, you know, we might like to be friends. So where did where did Simler get its start? How long has the project been going first? Um, so it's been in development since June. Mm -hmm. um, oh, so very quick. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we got to our first beta in a little under three months. Mm -hmm. I mean, we ninety really, days. Yeah, yeah. We huh? really cranked it. Um, the idea came a little bit earlier in the year, uh, right around March. Um, my friend Ryan um, approached me and, and just, uh, you know, he had this concept for sort of a, a different take on, on social networks. And, you know, there were some other places who were doing things sort of like it, but but not really effectively and not really well. Um, so um, we just we moved on it and, and uh, you know, so there was, you know, a couple of weeks of initial design and then we just really crashed it as hard as we could and, and got our first beta in 90 days. Wow, that is that is really, really impressively quick. That's not, that's nothing to scoff at. So from, from 90 day beta to now, what's the development been like? Because I've seen these posts here and there, and I've seen the visual changes mm -hmm. in the site and people are like, oh, it's all it's a completely different thing now. It's mm -hmm. all new and shiny and fancy. So where are you guys now? Uh, well, you know, I think uh, we learned a lot uh, right after we launched. We, we really paid attention to the the user feedback that we were getting we have i mean I'm, I'm kind of biased but i think that we have one of the best user bases out there i mean they're just incredibly engaged and amazing mm -hmm. and really supportive and they told us you know a lot of the things that they wanted um you know for example uh you know the one of the things that people wanted to be able to do was see uh you know all posts on a tag and so we added a feature um, that basically allows you to favorite a tag mm -hmm. which um you know feeds in everything regardless of you know who posts it um and you know that was an idea that came from one of our users um so i think what we've really tried to do is focus heavily on the discussion portion um you know of the site as opposed to um, you know, a lot of other places, you know, like Pounce and, and, and other uh, social networks really want to be able to share media. And our idea is we want to share ideas. We, we want to get discussion right. Um, and so that's really been the main focus of our development. Um, you know, we've added, you know, a lot of features, scoped back some, some things that, that people weren't necessarily using um, and really tried to focus on, you know, giving people what they want, which you know, I think is important. You know, if your users are happy, um, I think it will go well. So are there any more big changes coming down the pipe? Absolutely. Uh, one of the things that we're working on right now is uh, the idea, we call it the, the Sim King or Sim Queen. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the idea is that it rewards people for uh, creating what we consider to be good content. Um, mm -hmm. And the way that that um, happens is users uh, essentially like posts um, and that it means that it's a good post, it's on topic, it's contributing to the discussion. Uh, and then um, on a set interval, we'll be uh, ranking people based on the amount of liked posts that they have among uh, you know, a few other factors um, to generate 
uh, a sim king for, for each mm-hmm. tag. And so it allows you, you know, a, a small amount of control over the tag and, and it, it gives you some moderation privileges. So how do you keep that from becoming a popularity contest? Because sometimes you'll just like anything that someone that you happen to really respect or like, like, mm-hmm. like, 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 <laughs> like, like, you know, like they like. So how do you keep that from becoming a popularity contest? Um, I, you know, I, I don't think that, that, um, we want to have that level of control over it. I mean, I think one yeah. of the things that we went into similar, um, focusing on was creating, uh, communities that police themselves. Mm-hmm. Um, and so if there is, you know, a tag where, you know, people favorite everything, you know, that, that Felicia Day says, like um, they will, yeah, like, <laughs> like, like they will, um, you know, that's, that's, that's sort of their choice. Um, and, and we really wanted to create a place that, uh, people felt like it was their own space. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we didn't want them to feel like there was some sort of weird overload, um, you know, watching over them all the time. So, um, I'm, I'm sure that'll happen. Um, uh, but, you know, I think that uh, the community itself will um, hopefully, you know, rise to the challenge and there'll be people who, you know, like posts based on the merit of the post as opposed to, to who posts it. There's a lot of post, the word post a lot in that sentence. <laughs> yes, like the word post and the word like. I often have that problem when I'm talking about posting a post. And then, yeah, no, that has nothing to do with the conversation at hand. Um, so how did the similar team get pulled together? Because you guys are kind of here and there and scattered around. Mm-hmm. So how did that all come together? Uh, well, uh, I worked with uh, our, our CEO and founder, Ryan Goodwin. Um, Ryan with the fabulous hair. With the, with the, the, the yeah. fabulous hair. Hi, Ryan. <laughs> um, we, we love you. Uh, no, really. We love your hair. Your hair is awesome. <laughs> there was not... That was not a snarky comment. No, no. Your hair is fantastic. I yeah, this coming from the bald guy in the room, right? Every time we're in the same room, it's like I'm the guy with cancer, you know, because everybody's <laughs> like, "I love your hair," and I'm the guy. Oh, oh. man. Uh, so um, Ryan and I. Ryan is one of the founders of Struck Creative. Um, mm-hmm. They're an incredibly successful, uh, amazing digital agency. They have an office here in Portland, and um, I helped open the the Portland office, and. Um, uh, Ryan uh, just came to me with the idea. He was looking for somebody, you know, with with my skill set, uh, and and I love the idea. And uh, I've known Nate for a long time. Nate and I went to high school together. Um, we're both from the same hometown. I'm a huge fan of his work. Um, so he was naturally the, a great addition. Um, and then we we met um, two other amazing guys, Scott Tweed, uh, who's uh, based out of Salt Lake City. Mm-hmm. He's an amazing front end developer. Um, just great guy. And then um, sort of the grandpa of the group, um, he's going to love that I said that, uh, Glenn Starchman, um, he's this Python, Apache, MySQL server whiz. He's oh, he's going to hate that you said MySQL. Oh, uh, right. <laughs> he's Postgres. He hates he's MySQL. He's going to hate a lot of the stuff you right, said. Right, right. It's, it's cool. It's cool. He's going to whip me he's later. A, he's, a, he's a better man. <laughs> so, he really is. Nate, what do you do? I'm the front end guy. I do uh, all the HTML and CSS and JavaScript. Mm-hmm. Right now, uh, for about two weeks, I've been working nonstop on the mobile version of the site. We like our mobile things. Yes, we do. Especially Portland. Portland really <laughs> likes things to be mobile. Right. That's like the the comment I hear most. Is yeah, like, I'll, totally. I'll check out similar when you guys have an iPhone app. Mm-hmm. So that's you know that's uh, what I'm doing night and day. So you made some big changes. I remember when I first signed up, the site looked very different than it does right now. So, yeah, one of the last things we did uh, most recently is uh, we redid the home page. Um, so we're featuring our users a little bit more and uh, a lot of the tags that they like. So that lets uh, people right from the get-go see you know, a lot of things that, 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 that are available on the site. Um, and then what, what else did we add? We added the new tabs uh, on the home stream um, so you can see different... Um, uh, t- you can see uh, posts to all your tags and uh, posts from all your friends right in one tab. Sorry, just there was a diversion there shortly. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, so is the, the visual look of the set pretty much set now? Is it where you guys want it to be? I think so. Like, it's really understated. It's really, you know, we kind of let the content speak for itself. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was always one of our goals. Um, we're happy with it. I mean, we're continually refining it and things like that, so... Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I love the, the site design. I mean, I, I feel like there's a sort of this web 2.0, it, it's dirty word, uh, but there's this, 
um, kind of over-designed feel, you know, where it's like everything I, has like I agree completely. torn paper yeah. mm-hmm. and... Um, we have the capabilities. It was like when everyone uh, wanted to do like the, the super flash everywhere mm-hmm. all over and the, the music was playing and the blinking stuff and the sparkling lights and oh my God, just give it a rest. Yeah, Please. yeah. Yeah. I, I totally agree. I mean, I, you know, I worked as a flash developer for eight years and uh, I... I'm at the point now where when I hit a site and it's all flash, I'm just so disappointed and tend to, to, to go away. I mean, I'm, I'm sort of jaded, but I feel like, you know, with the web the way it is today, um, flash is something that, that, you know, you're going to see less and less of and, and, and see more sites, you know, like ours that are completely standards, H, standards based HTML, um, Ajax. And, um, you know, I think that, that, you know, with the proliferation of mobile devices and, um, you know, and just alternate ways that people are, are getting to the web, mm-hmm. the, the sort of uh, virtual machine based technologies are, are going to be used, you know, less and less. So we're going to switch over back to the user, the user part of it. Sure. Uh, what would you say are like the top three rules or not rules, but top three things that users should be doing or should know when they're going into it? I think the first thing is you have to add a lot of tags. Um, so anything that you have any sort of interest in, even no matter how remote, you should add it as a tag. The more tags, the better. I think uh, our, our, our user with the most tags has 1,200? 1,200. 1,200 tags? Jessica, Jessica D. Oh, she's the best. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, awesome. so the more tags you have, you know, the more, the more opportunity you have to meet someone who likes, you know, a, a greater number of tags that you, that you also like. So don't be afraid of liking tags. Totally. Okay. Right. They're they're there to be created and they're there to yeah, to add. Okay. Yeah. Um I you know, I think the second thing is um I don't just don't be afraid to talk. I mean, we're, the, the whole point of the site is, you know, to meet other people and to to get in on the discussion and I think that um because we, we occupy such a different headspace than Twitter. Twitter is very immediate. You sit down, and if you've got ten seconds, you know you can you can work out a tweet. Mm-hmm. And and similar um, requires you know a little bit more concentration than that. You know you sit down and, and you're having more in depth discussions. We don't have a, a character limit. You know you can you ten thousand characters in a post. Um, and so I think that. Uh, sometimes that's uh, a little uh, imposing, or uh, no, that's not the right word, but intimidating. It's, thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, I words. Uh, <laughs> They're all the same thing. It's actually it's a physical. It's a doctor's condition. I mix up my I words. It's, you can look it up. <laughs> it's, um, it's an I word. It starts with an I word, unfortunately, so we can't remember which one it is. But right. Um, <laughs> so I think that, that you know users are intimidated, but. Mm-hmm. Um, I, you know, I think that it's important for them, you know, to feel comfortable. I mean, it's a place to meet people and it's a place to, to get out there and talk. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, I think that, that that would be the second thing is is to really, you know, just if you like something, get on my talk, start a discussion. Your turn. Um, <laughs> it's like a quiz. You shouldn't have started. Now you yeah, have to do now two. Yeah, I have to do the last one. Uh, I, I, think, I think the only other thing is uh, the place to ask for help is the similar tag. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we, we read that all day, every day. So we're always in there answering questions. Um, the other thing is most of our users are super helpful, too. So they'll chime in with uh, with any sort of uh, answers to questions and things yeah. like that. Yeah, absolutely. Our, yeah. our users are amazing. So add tags. Don't be afraid to interact with people. And use the similar tag for help. Mm-hmm. Yep. That seems pretty easy. To <laughs> it's it's in beta now still, but it's fully open. Yeah, yeah. it's fully open to the public. Um, you know, it, we're still working, refining, um, you know, playing with things all day, and so you know, it's still in that that beta status where you know something could be broken in the morning, and, and we'll push a fix at noon, and and it's it's fixed then. Um, you know, but we're probably in another month or two off before you know we take the the beta sticker off and, mm-hmm. and really consider it to be a finished product. So what will be the biggest difference? Is it just that once you take the beta sticker off, you consider it done? Or what, what's the biggest? I think by then we'll have hurdle? that. What's that hurdle? I think the hurdle for us is a more uh, rigid and strict development schedule. Mm-hmm. You know, like so we, so we, uh, we, we have periods where we'll, we're co- we'll code for a certain amount of time and then stop and then test all that work. And then once we're, out, we're satisfied with all that, you know, we won't add anything new. We'll push all that live at once. Things like that instead of now where we're like, you know, if we find a fix... You know, something. If we find something wrong, we can fix it really quick and and patch it right away. Right. And still, with the word beta attached to it, you have to. All of your users are compelled to be understanding. They're compelled to let right. us off the hook. Yeah, I mean that's that's really what the beta is for. Is like, we it's a beta. 
Yeah, it's really, I mean, it, uh, it doesn't really mean anything, you know. It's like Gmail is still in beta. Or right, right. Things like that. Uh, Gmail will never be out of beta. <laughs> um, so there's not going to be any significant change. You guys aren't going to, like, monetize it or uh, differently do anything. Do you understand what I'm saying? Are sure. you going to do anything more commercial with it once it's out of beta? Or what? what's the ultimate goal? Well, you know, I think that... that um, the the way that we looked at you know monetization is so, it's such you know sort of a dirty word because it is. I think I think everybody know, wants to be able to earn a profit from the hard work that they're doing but no one wants people to monetize what they want to play with absolutely um, and you know I think that once something you know you start talking about monetizing something I think that you know people feel like you're going to shove ads down their throat mm -hmm. but I think that one of the advantages that we have with similar is um, we know a lot about our users and so. When, you know, uh, when you're looking at, you know, say a tag for soccer, right? Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that we do is we've got these um, sort of takeover ads. So they're very kind of reminiscent of, of Pandora. If you look at the, the guild tag, um, you know, for Felicia Day's site, the guild, you know, it was mm -hmm. a, um, a, an example of one that we built. Um, and so we, we don't put any advertising in the, in the content stream at all. It's, it's all based uh, around the site. Um, but we know so much about our users that it's so easy to target advertising to them. And so it's so less offensive if you're in a soccer mindset talking about soccer, you know, to, to get an ad that's, you know, for, for a soccer company. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, the, I mean, it's a really fine line to walk because you don't want to shove ads down people's throat, but then there's in, a, in some way there's value in this to them, you know, where it's like, we've got a partner who, um, you know, is advertising here and for similar users, you know, they're, they're offering this deal. And mm -hmm. so, um, you know, I think that, that ultimately that's, that's where we're, we, we'd like to get to is really to, to, um, pick some partners, um, who see the value in our user base and, and how highly targeted it is, is, it is, um, and, and allow them to, to sponsor, you know, tags, multiple tags. And um, to market tastefully. Yeah, to, to market tastefully. I mean, yeah. I, if there is such a thing. The other thing I'm is sure all there our, is. The other thing is all our posts are uh, geotagged by your latitude and longitude if you put that in uh, when you sign up. So what that means is we can have uh, very local ads. So you could have an ad for Strange Love Live. Uh, in Portland, things like that. You know, if you're doing a live event, that sort of thing. Right, right. That's that's absolutely like one of the one of the things that that we'll be looking at. Um, you know, in our post beta status is we have this idea of sort of democratized advertising, and and Facebook does it to a certain extent. But you know, say you know you live in Portland and you have a camera to sell, mm -hmm. you could come into similar and you know make yourself a, a little banner ad and you know for you know what ten dollars you know whatever um we haven't worked that out you know you could buy you know a thousand impressions in zip code you know nine seven two oh nine on the photography tag and so you know it allows you as a user to to participate in that that um you know that uh, very targeted advertising as well some stuff we're tossing around yeah it's good thoughts yeah i'm gonna move on to something far easier sure <laughs> I'm sure everyone wants to know where the monkeys came from. <laughs> the monkeys came. <laughs> the monkeys came from Kyla. <laughs> from Kyla. In case Kyla. you guys are not aware, the uh, the mascots, the logo of similar are these two adorable little monkeys. Yeah, we call them the Simians. The Simians. Yep. And si Kyla came up with the monkeys. Yeah, yeah. Simi Davis Jr. is the name. When we haven't named the other one, he's. he's... I tried to get the Mean PDX people to name them, but this just did nothing for me. I'm just... Oh, Simi Davis Jr. and a monkey that is yet to be named. A yeah. girl monkey. A girl, a girl monkey. And she's, you know, you know it's whatever. <laughs> whatever naming the girl monkey. It's the men monkey. That it's do. harder to name girls. Right. We get all touchy about things. And we're um, like, oh, no, my name has to be pretty. You can't name me Simi Davis Jr. <laughs> so, yeah, the, Kyla um, just kind of offhandedly made some comment to me one night about, you guys should have a monkey. <laughs> uh, and I, I mentioned that to Ryan, and he was like, absolutely. And so he got uh, Dan Christofferson, who's a, 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 a children's book author. I mean, not author, but a illustrator. You know, illustrator. It's an I word again. I, I know. Look it up. It's, it's a medical <laughs> condition. Um, and uh, and, and um, Robots and Angels is his website, and he does amazing work. And, mm -hmm. and he drew it for us, and, um, and we love it. And we've had an amazing response to the monkey. Everybody loves the monkeys. They're adorable. I wore, a, I wore my shirt out once, and everyone was like, oh, God, I have to know where you got that. Where did you get the monkey shirt? And I was like, you have to go sign up for similar at similar.com. 
Leave me alone. Don't talk to me. Thank you. That's <laughs> awesome. the way to You're do welcome. it. That's the way but to I, do I was it. like, I don't know how you get it. You get a similar. Do something. If you sign up a certain number of people, it used to be you got a shirt. Right, right. Yeah. And uh, now we have a promotion going where we just pick two random posts a day mm-hmm. um, and, and just give some shirts away. And then we also have um, a big cartel sh- store set up. I think it's similar to bigcartel.com where, mm-hmm. you can, where you can buy them. So what is in the future for similar? What, what else do you guys have planned? Um, oh wait, I have one other question. Sure. Who was it that dressed up like the monkey for Halloween? Was that Ryan? That was, that was Ryan. Ryan. Yeah, yeah, that was such a cute costume. I know he looked amazing. <laughs> these are things. I'll try to put links to these things in the in the post. That's that was a great such picture. a fantastic yeah. photo. It's a great photo. Okay, and and then before we move on to the big things in the future, uh, you guys had a, a launch party or a, a socializing party. A, a, Six weeks ago, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, it was part of New Communicators. Yeah, part mm-hmm. of the, at, at the end of um, October, um, and so um, you know, Ryan is one of the founders of Struck, and they lent us their office, and and we uh, threw a party during the New Communicators, and um, was it just kind of a getting to know you kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, yeah. it was it was just you know, we uh, the New Communicators were happening. Um, Struck was you know thinking of throwing an event, and it just seemed. Um, like a good idea. Yeah, it wasn't like a big forces. launch. Like we didn't, you know, we didn't finish that day or anything. We were all working right up until we left for the party. And mm-hmm. uh, yeah, it was it was fun though. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so make sure. Now, what's in store? What's in the future? What are you guys looking forward to with similar and other projects that you guys might be working on? Um, you know, I think one of the biggest things we want to do is we want to move everything to HTML5. I mean, mm-hmm. that's going to be a huge step in, in the right direction for us. Um, you know, we're web standards nerds, and so the the idea of getting a chance to, to work on some HTML5 stuff um, you know, gets me excited in the pants. Um, it's a good place to be excited. Yeah. Um, you know, other than that, I mean, I think that there is a lot of power uh, in the system that we've built Um with the the geotagging, I think that um, you know the ability to go and search for you know people you know screenwriters in Portland and, mm-hmm. and immediately get a list of, of people um, is so incredibly powerful. And so I think that that we'd really like to to play that up and and really focus on the, the localities and and the geotagging stuff um, more prominently than we are now. Mm-hmm. Um, the other thing is we have a, a really nice API that we've been writing pretty much since day one. Um, so the next big step is to document that really well and then let people make uh, iPhone apps and desktop apps and uh, you know Android apps, that sort of thing. Um, that's going to be big. Which is kind of like the easiest way to go about things. You just get the API taken care of and then enthusiasts will do the work for mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we plan on doing a mobile version of the site um, pretty soon. Mm-hmm. Um, but then we want people to be able to build their own apps um, for whatever platform they want. Yep. Nice. Yeah, you know, I think that that yeah, for me, seeing the work that other people do based on our work is sort of the the most exciting thing. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I mean, you look at the way that Twitter evolved, and and so many of the the things that the users started have have become conventions. Um, and so I'm just really excited, um, you know, to see um, the ideas that our users have, you know, for for future enhancements as well. Because um, you know, I mean, the the stuff that we've gotten from them so far has been amazing, and and so. Um, yeah, I mean, we we need smart people on similar to uh, do our work for us. <laughs> so if you I'm don't saying. if you don't already have an account, you can go to similar s i m l e r dot com and sign up. It's open. It's fun. You should go add some tags. There's a strange little black tag. Yeah, I heard that there's a thirty hour day tag that no one's taking very good care of. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I've posted on there a couple times. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that the 30 hour day people are lazy bums. I heard that about them. Yeah. I so they don't that. ever do anything. You should not say mean things about people on the internet, Cammy. I know, it's, it's going to come back to bite me. <laughs> You're talking like, yeah. really I, soon. I know. We can I discuss know. that one. We can discuss that one a little bit later. Do either of you have any other projects in the hopper? Um, I think we're both really, uh, we're really into this. Yeah. Yeah. We're, uh, we're kind of been living and breathing it for. Uh, wow, six months now. Yeah, I mean, it's... Um, Which is, like, forever and ever in internet terms, but really to launch such a significant site, such a, such a significant project, that's fast. 
I, I thought so too, you know. <laughs> I it, it seemed like it was a really aggressive date, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I have to give uh, you know a lot of thanks to you know Django, um, you know Simon Willison and and um, you know and the team that develops Django. Um, you know, we've we've built it on top of Django and Python as well as James Topper um, and, and the guys who worked on the Pinex project. Mm-hmm. Um, What's Pinex? Uh, Pinex, it's it's sort of um, it's a framework on top of a framework. It's it's. Uh, is it something on top of Pine? Uh, no, it's actually okay. it's, it's it's built on top of sense. it's built on top of Django, and it's sort of <laughs> the idea is is that it allows you to quickly instantiate and create you know social networks. Okay. And and coming into the project, you know, neither of us had worked really in, uh, in social networks at all. You know, mm-hmm. we both have a strong agency background, and you know, have done a lot of microsites, and so there was a lot of learning um, that that we did through Pinax and and through you know their users. Um, so it's it's been you know without them I, I you know I don't think that that we could have you know gotten to where we are in ninety days um, uh, but yeah I mean uh, I think that that in addition to that the, the biggest thing that we dealt with is you know we're, we're privately funded we we don't we haven't gone out and looked for venture capital mm-hmm. um, and at this point you know we're not interested in it but you know you see the, these other startups that, that have gone out and, and acquired venture capital and they have you know teams of 17 you know and they have marketing support and you know and we're you know five guys you know working uh, in our extra bedrooms um, in our pajamas while your wife has to go stay in a hotel for a couple <laughs> of nights because she's sick yeah uh-huh. yeah yeah but it doesn't doesn't it give you a certain amount of freedom though you're not answering for what you're doing you're still answering to yourselves of course but Absolutely. yeah yeah if we have an idea for the site you know we can hash it out amongst ourselves and figure out the best way to attack it and and build it and uh, that's really fun yeah yeah i mean you know coming you know from the agency world uh you know where projects are so short term getting to to work on something that's long term where i i can continually evolve my code base is incredibly exciting um, it's the best job I've ever had. So, so before we say goodnight, do you have any advice for um, entrepreneurs, people who might want to uh, have a site-based startup or who are plotting something big in a very short period of time on the internet? Start small. Uh, get get do the smallest thing that works well and launch it. Absolutely, and then refine it from there. Yeah, I mean, I think that that's really what what helped us is is not worrying about. Um, you know, getting videos and 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 sort of um, uh, over featureizing, if that's a word, um, the site. We yeah. just really wanted to get discussion done well, and and we focused on that. We made a very f- short list of the exact things we would, you know, that we would need for someone to use the site, mm-hmm. and you know, we just polished those things, and then from there we started adding things after that. So it's the stick to what you know kind of thing. It's well, stick it's what stick what you want. Stick to what you want. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Find out what your core thing is. Mm-hmm. Do that really well. Do the ba- most basic thing you can do to get something public facing and then refine it. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Next week, we'll be live from 30 hour day. Uh, it'll still be early. It won't be that crazy yet, but I hope you'll join us and I hope you'll stick with us for after hours in a few moments. Happy birthday, Kristen. And happy birthday, Kristen. Kristen.